So they were making custom candy with an initial. So these candies will have the letter C inside. People who ordered uh, this got to pick the colors. For the outside, we'll need a pinkish color, and the letter C will be blue. For this pink color, I'll add just a little bit of black to the right shade of pink. In the other corner, I'll add the blue for the C, which leaves us an open space to mix in the citric acid and uh, white coloring. So that's the citric acid, not to be confused with sugar, and some light coloring. See the sides have already set inside a still liquid. And I will cut out just exactly what we need. So that'll do for the C. And for the outside color. This white will be for the inside, the center of the candy, which will be stretched on the hook. Because of the size of the batch, this is a relatively small size, uh, I choose to stretch it on the hook. Bigger batches we stretch on the machine. And what this hook actually does, or what I'm doing on the hook, is I'm stretching air bubbles into the sugar, which will make it more, will, mi will make it white. And, um, almost double in volume I think that's about it so this piece of blue is made in a re rectangular shape and by adding cylinder to it and rolling it up we made a C that's easy
So the letter C is being cooled at the moment just to keep it in its shape. In the meanwhile, I prepared the whites to go around. That'll be the center of the candy. And the pink for the outside. So we basically have everything, every piece of the puzzle to complete. Just a bit of water on the sponge to stick the center to the outside. Stick the outside to the center. This fits perfectly. And that's it. Just need to make them smaller. By grabbing everything on one end of the roll I come to a baseball bottleneck whatever shape which will allow us to stretch the whole thing And that's our C. Thank you.